and welcome to Bloodborne. I am very excited to be playing this. It's, oh man, I just, oh, I've been wanting to play this for so long. I actually did a little pre-recording, like, playing of this game just until the first boss, just so I'd have a good idea of how to just play the game in general. So I know a lot of the controls already. Um, unfortunately, I don't have PlayStation Plus, so I cannot play online. I know, it sucks. I, if you want an online gaming experience, I'm sorry I can't offer it to you, but hopefully I can just go ahead and give you the best that I can right now. So let's start. Oh yeah, pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Okay. So now, it, and that leads us to the character creation. In which case, I'm going to name myself Sean. And I'm male and young. And the origin. I'm a waste of skin. Oh, oh I love that as a name for just a character in a video game. Just a class. Just, you're so pointless. Alright, and I already have a favorite made. This is me. This is kind of close to what I actually look like in real life, except the hair is up and mine is naturally down, so. We're good. We are ready. The character's made. We're right into the gameplay. Or, well, we will be as soon as the loading screen and... Yeah, the loading screens in this game are very long. Incredibly long. Okay, this may or may not be like the worst <laughs> blemish on the game. Everything else is phenomenal. Like Bloodborne, as far as I can tell, is a really, really fun game. I've had just a ton of fun with it. But, god damn if the loading screens are just not atrocious. But other than that, good. Game's been fun. All oh. signed and sealed. Now let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. It's really intense. And then these little adorable guys. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know they're supposed to be kind of like creepy. I don't actually know what they are. But I don't know, they're kind of adorable to me. One of them has a really kind of weird face. Ah, this beside, oh. You found yourself a hunter. And now it's gameplay. All right, we're ready. Let's go. Hunt. 
Okay. I am. Oh, man, it's just, it feels really good to be playing this. I've been wanting to play this for a while. And as far as I can tell, most of the controls are the exact same as Dark Souls, except that, like, now there's a dedicated healing button, and that's triangle. So no matter what happens, you always have a healing button. And the two-handed button, but however, that changes a lot because the two-handed button is now, like, R1. So, fuck this guy. Chunk. You like my hand in your face? I mean, you probably don't like it, seeing as you are reacting very violently. And I'm dead. Werewolf crotch. <laughs> yeah, I have yet to beat that guy with my bare hands. It, it's. Ah. And when I say yet, I mean I played this game, like the intro, once, which is how I got all the little things set up, like the volume and stuff. And yeah. So I don't even know if you're supposed to die to him. You probably aren't. But then we end up here. This little majestic little church house thing. <laughs> and, and that, and the little like, ooh, it's like this jankiest little thing. Uh, <laughs> and they keep using that sound file. They really need to stop using it. It doesn't sound as cool as they thought it did. It's so janky. Anyway, I, I'm gonna pick the hunter's axe, and I'm gonna pick the hunter, hunter, hunter. Axe. They're both solid weapons, as far as I can tell. Especially because the hunting axe is just amazing. Just, I love the way it feels. I mean, just look at this. It's got, it's got a s transformation straight from Dragon Ball Z. It's <laughs> powerful extend, man. It's great. And the blunderbuss, I mean, why would you not pick a shotgun? Come on. Of course, I'm not making fun of people that chose the pistol. I know, the pistol might be nice, but I mean, it's a shotgun for free. Why wouldn't you do even take it? <sighs> the personal taste aside, I am going to go and wreck this wolf now, because now, this wolf is a complete chump. Earlier, I mean, you saw him. He just absolutely decimated me. But now, this wolf is done. What's so chump? And then he drops some blood. Pops. Now, fun fact, when I actually, like, started doing this, and... I didn't actually know what the blood vials were for, so for a little while I was gathering them and going, what the hell is this for? I mean, I quickly figured out that they were for healing after I clicked triangle, but it was just so weird to see me gathering an item and I was like, blood vials. Why am I gathering blood? It was really confusing. Now, something of interest is every single time, like, I kind of, like, zoom in on my character's face, it gets really fucked up really quickly. Like, I don't know why that is. Like, if it's, I'm literally getting drenched in the bloods of my enemies or something, but, or, like, the blood's infecting me, I don't know what it is, but... Oof. I love this weapon. I don't know why your skin changes color whenever you fight, but... It's, uh, it's done on purpose. It's definitely intentional. I just don't know why. But I'll be really curious to find out because 
the Soul series is like famous for storytelling that isn't exactly in your face. If anything, it goes out of its way to hide the story from you with very subtle things. Hence, not obvious. And there's our sounding of our first boss, probably. Anyway, yeah, the, the Soul series really enjoys not holding your hand with its storytelling. It just kind of thrust little things upon you, cutscenes, items, all kinds of stuff, out of order, just hands it to you, and let you sort of do your best to decipher it. And I really enjoy that. I think that's a really like interesting way to tell a story. Some people, of course, don't, won't necessarily find it and just think, man, this game doesn't have a story. But for the people that do realize it and do like the feeling of finding the story, it just makes it such a rewarding experience just to learn about it. And that's why I like these types of games. They're very rewarding because they're so difficult. <clears throat> but they're like a good type of challenge. At no point in this game do I ever feel like, oh my god, they put me against this enemy that's literally impossible. Like. For example, a game that, that does that often would be something like, I want to be difficult, you know? Just very overtly, I was designed to be difficult, and there's no other reason why that any of this is designed. It's not meant to be fun, it's just kind of meant to enrage a person. But this? This is designed to be, like, fast-paced and fun, and I think it does its job incredibly well. So far, anyway. I don't... I won't claim to know anything else later on in the game, but right now, it has been very enjoyable. And now we're gonna go fight our first real tough enemy. Hopefully he doesn't murder me. Nah, he won't. I'm gonna wreck his shit. Come on! I can never get the same of that. Like, I've tried to stun him before, but it never really works. He just kind of, like, does his own thing. See, like, I know you're supposed to be able to stagger enemies if you hit them right before they attack. What did I do wrong? This is interesting. Oof. I've had enough of your shit. I say as he hits me for shit time. God, that headbutt's fast. Come on. Come on, I'm almost got him. Okay, hello. Woo! I forgot that I may or may not have killed these dudes. There we go. Yeah. Oh shit. I think you're gonna go. I'm hoping to get them to strike. So he did the bomb. Because if I can get him to strike, I, I'm trying to... God damn it. That was just an unfortunate placement for him. Alright, asshole. Seriously? Whoa! 